The Virtues on Channel 4. This is written by Shane Meadows. He directs it as well and he's written it alongside uh, a long-time contributor, uh, Jack Thorne. This is the story of Joe, who is sort of his world falls apart when his ex-wife takes her partner and their young son to Australia and he hasn't got much really to live for. It's incredibly bleak, but also has made me cry twice this week. What did you make of this, Nicole? Because this is completely the other way to Gentleman Jack, where Gentleman Jack is, is fun and out of this world and bouncy. This is very much in this world and very relatable. Yeah. So it, it's kind of BAFTA award-winning territory, isn't it? The mm, performance already. of Stephen Gordon yeah. is fantastic. He completely, you know, even though we've only just seen him in Line of Duty, he completely inhabits this character. He's totally believable. It's a really tough watch. Um, it's not the kind of thing you're going to want to watch after a bad day, I don't think, because it's quite depressing. You know, the, the thing about good drama is it helps you look into other worlds and understand people. This Absolutely. will help you understand the guy who's raging outside the pub and you just, mm. you know, you might just pass and think, oh God, what's wrong with him? But actually, this guy has got so much pain. And, uh, I've only seen the first episode, but mm. by the end of the first episode, we know that there's there's so much pain and there's going to be so much more pain to come. The scene where he has a chat with his son on the bed made me cry. And I actually yeah. don't, I don't know quite how they do that because... When it started, I wasn't sure who Joe was. I wasn't entirely sure where they were going. I obviously knew they were leaving and I had no reference points for these characters. But that conversation they had just felt so naturalistic, so normal and so believable that I was just invested in them immediately. Listen, I was thinking, you know, because I'm not going to be there. If you want to, I mean, it's up to you. Well, I don't mind if you, you know, if you wanted to call David dad. But you're dad. Yeah, and I, I know, I know, and I'll always be dad. I am dad, but just if you, if you want to call David dad, then that's okay with me, dad. Do you know what I mean? I understand because he's good to you, isn't he? Yeah. And you know Vera from Liverpool. Remember when I took you to Liverpool? Well, I call her mum, don't I? Yeah. And she's not my real mum. Tell him I'm born. I was about your age when I was nine. That's when I first went to Liverpool. And it was hard at first, you know what I mean? They all spoke different and spoke funny with them silly little accents. But you just, you get used to it. And you, all them lovely blonde little Australian girls are gonna be all over you. You'll get new mates, cause you're brilliant at footy, aren't you? Them Australians can't really play footy. Not like you. And we can keep in touch, can't we? We can use the computer yeah. on the face lord thing, the Skype lordy, the Skype, what is yeah. it, what's it called? First, you yeah. do it on the iPad, on the and iPad. second, okay, it's called Skype. Skype. Not Skype lord. Not Skype lord. Okay. No, it's Skype. No, don't say that. Don't say Skype lord. Ever. Don't okay. Say Skype lord ever Especially again. not in front of my friends. Oh, I can't say it in front of your friends. No. All your friends are going to Skype you, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they'll Skype you. Yeah. So I will, we'll we'll Skype regularly. Yeah. Mm. We will Skype regularly. The way they speak is just unlike anything else on television. We just praised Sally Wainwright for her dialogue, and this has got to be the most human, naturalistic dialogue I've seen for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's fantastic writing. Similarly, Mum, you've got that very British mm. understatement where there's so much that isn't being said, but you know the actors are so good that you see the emotions without the words necessarily i mean the, obviously the, the dialogue is fantastic but a lot of it's what's not being said as well as what is being said such loaded conversations aren't they really and even the interaction between joe and the guy at the ferry uh, office is 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 S Sinbad from brookside as, uh, as i recognized him as <laughs> yeah, yeah i wasn't gonna bring that but it was so clearly <laughs> Sinbad from brookside yeah was so brilliantly done as well. Yeah. Such a believable interaction. Mm. The fact, the fact that it was tough to watch, does that mean that you won't be going back to it, or does it mean you're just going to have to prepare yourself and be ready next time you do? 
you you must watch this um, yeah because it's it's brilliant but you yeah. do have to have maybe the, the right be in the right frame of mind for it you know i was a massive fan of the this is england franchise and it has got that similar tone to the dialogue as you both mentioned there um it did feel very much like that you could hear the sort of almost like the cadence of of the characters back in mm. in this is england and i really pre- I, I was going to say enjoyed it but i don't think that's the right word really no. um you got the impression early on when he was talking to his ex-wife he did have quite a lot Problems. of demons and obviously you saw as soon as he got to the pub was it Tom Davis was playing the um, the yeah. the landlord? Yeah, and and that sort of interaction as his as his night slowly spins out of control and things like that, and you realise you know he's quite a serious alcoholic and just on a whim decides to go to Belfast after this after this night of drinking and drugs. I thought it was it was heavy going, very sort of realistic, sort of fly on the wall drama. We'll definitely watch the watch the entire series, but just very very bleak but with a um as you said bafta worthy performance from stephen graham really it's really important drama but obviously i don't think it's massively audience appealing because it's almost too real you know if you've come home from work you want something frivolous to take your mind off stuff this is not aimed at you but it is incredible drama and possibly one of my favorites of the year already having only seen the opening episode, which kind of felt like a setup to what's going to come. We've met this guy. We we we've had alluded to what his demons are, and now he's going to go and reconnect with the only family he has left. The virtues is on Channel Four, nine o'clock uh, on Wednesday night.